Hi, this is Josh from Shama Sandals, and we're going to take a look at the mailbag and see if we can answer some of your questions. Okay, the first question comes from Chris. Chris says, good evening. Been loving my Shama Warriors for the past two years. They were a great upgrade from my All Browns. They're pretty worn, but also have some warping and shrinkage from being left in my car during the day. I was wondering if I could get them resold with the Mountain Goat Sole Ultra Grip Footbed. If so, let me know what the cost would be. All right, Chris, you're in luck. That's a piece of cake. Just send them in. Uh, the resoling on the Mountain Goats is $45. So uh, yeah, just send them in and uh, we'll uh, make sure you include a note with any relevant like shipping information and contact information so we can get them back to you, especially the email. Um, when we get the work done, we'll just email you an invoice that you can pay online. So it's super easy. All right, Chris. Um, have a good one. Next up, we have got Arlene. All right, hi there. I guess you have uh, plenty to deal with, so I'll keep this as short as I can. I've been owning sneakers my whole life. I've been through a lot professionally, living a modest life without caring about me or my needs. A few weeks ago, I was able to get through a lot of work and I got a little amount of money to start all over again. My first gift to myself was your sandals because I really wanted to feel free once more and to feel healthier. The first three days were weird in my new Shama sandals, but I thought that to be normal. The next two weeks were all right because, well, my body was kind of surprised at how at first, but slowly learning new stuff behind barefoot. Now, only after a month, I feel free, happy, and well. I don't even know how I could go back. Even asking myself how to survive during winter, you know, because I can't go back to before because it feels amazing. The pleasure those sandals provide me goes far beyond anything I was thinking of before buying them. So thank you very much for everything you do because everything you did for me was amazing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hopefully this email shall reach the persons behind all of this and please accept my apologies for my non-perfect English. Best regards, Arlene. Well, Arlene, uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and probably everyone here at the workshop. When people use the sandals and they, they, are, they like them and they enjoy them and they benefit them, that's like our highest compliment. So thank you, thank you very much. Um, when winter comes around, what I'm gonna recommend is you try um, some of the uh, Injinji Toe Sock products. Um, if it's snowing, that's probably not gonna do the trick for you, but um, I think that uh, you're gonna be able to at least get into the good part of fall and maybe early, early uh, or late spring, you know, that, those toe socks will help you out if you've got a lot of snow. Um, and I totally get what you're saying. It's like once you realize that your foot is not meant to be controlled and manipulated, but that your foot uh, needs some footwear that will complement it rather than correct it, it's just impossible to go back. So we um, completely share your sentiment and um, all the best, Arlene. You ho hope you have uh, a great time in your shamas and uh, keep us posted. So. All right, next one. Who do we have next? This one comes from Kiyu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It says here, hi, I'm considering to buy one of the above products, Mountain Goats or Warriors, and I'm not sure which one would be best for me. I read through uh, the FAQ and watched a bunch of uh, YouTube videos, but I'm still not sure. I don't think I'm going to do trail running with these, but I'm wanting to use, to use as my daily sandals I can wear in any weather. I live in a city, so I will walk with them mostly in an urban environment. Do you have any recommendation? Just for reference, it would be my first Shama sandals, and I don't have much experience in barefoot shoes yet, except I have Merrill Glove for hiking. Thank you, and look forward to hearing from you. Best, Kiyo. All right, so um, I think, you know, I've always recommended, I think our best sandal to start with is actually the Chargers. Even though I know you're trying to make a decision between the Mountain Goats and the Warriors, and please, you can totally disregard what I'm saying. This is just, these are just my thoughts. Um, uh, as far as walking around the city and, um, and light trails and uh, a sandal that you can run in, all those things, I really think the Charger is the very best place to start with a pair of sandals. They have a little bit of give, 
Um, the chargers come standard with the, uh, the ultra grip footbed. So, you know, you can get them in, you can get them wet. You can, uh, you know, they'll be fine in, a, in basically any weather situation. Um, you can, they're very comfortable for walking because of that little bit of give and um, they're very light, gr a great sandal for running too. Um, one of my favorites for running. Um, so I've, I've run in chargers for years. So I think they really like check all of the boxes and they're also gonna, here's the other cool thing about the chargers um, is that as they get worn in, the more you wear them, they're going to get thinner and thinner and thinner. By the time you're ready to throw your chargers away, they are going to be so comfortable. You're going to be so sad to like go back to a new, uh, a new pair, a new full, full pair. Um, they're really a great sandal and I think you should consider them. They're also the, our least, exp uh, our most inexpensive sandal. <laughs> and, um, reason I mentioned that is so that's a good place to start and then you might say you know what now I need some warriors because I want to go even thinner or I want some mountain goats because I want to beef up a little bit but um, yeah uh, if you want to just go back to the warriors mountain goats question then I would say um, I'd lean more towards the mountain goats as your first sandal if you're looking for something that's going to transition now, all our sandals you can run in it really comes down to what level of ground feel you want. But I think a good, a good compromise and a great place to start is the chargers. So that's, those are my thoughts. Um, I guess that's it for the mail bag today. And, uh, if you have any other questions or comments, you know, please, um, send in your, your questions to contact at shamasandals.com and, um, we'll hopefully, uh, we'll be responding to you pretty soon. So, See you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more weekly content. And make sure to click the bell so that you'll be notified every time we post something new.